have a 70-year-old trumpet. It's been with me on all my combat missions all through World War II. I never went any place without it. Here we are, Marjorie Rogers. She and I have been married now 68 years. We finally got this P-47. It was a dream to fly. That's why I named it after my first daughter, Roseanne. I would love that propeller. I go, I love that little girl. I took it in a little canvas bag tied to my parachute. I figured if I ever got shot down, it would go with me. Covering the beaches, we saw two million men, 10,000 ships. We had 3,000 feet as our altitude, and we just shot at everything we could, and we witnessed the invasion from a ringside seat. And I remember feeling pride and sadness as I saw the bodies, 4,000 killed in two hours on D-Day. Two weeks after D-Day, we were the first fighter squadron on a strip that was built there. After a bad day attacking this German Panzer Division, seeing innocent civilians massacred that were held up on top of the tanks, that's why I had to play that night. As I took my trumpet out of the canvas bag at 10 o'clock that night, and there was still one German sniper. I thought to myself, that German sniper is as lonely and as scared as I am. How can I stop him from firing? So I played that German's love song, Lily Marlene. And I wailed that trumpet over those apple orchards in Normandy. And he didn't fire. The next morning, here came the military police up. And the military police said, Captain, there's a German prisoner down on the shore. And he keeps saying, who played that trumpet last night? There was a 19-year-old German. And he crying, he said... I couldn't fire. He stuck out his hand, and I shook the hand of the enemy. He was no enemy because the music had soothed the savage beast. My ambition as the last action on my part as a veteran is to hit high sea and fall right into the grave. 